Hello everyone, Ron Riggs here for Chargers TV. We're back in Studio R as we've just finished um, recording our end of year show, which we're uh, in the process of putting together right now. Um, but we're going to do a separate clip for the three-on-three -three competition that is happening at the Kimber Sports Centre on Monday. Now, we mentioned in the broadcast, and you'll see in the, in the next clip, that we, I mentioned that entries were closed. That is not the case now, folks. Entries are still open for the next 48 hours. So basically, entries are open till probably the end of Friday. So you have about 48 hours or just under 48 hours to still register. So I, I encourage you to uh, get a team together uh, and, and get online, register. Uh, the links will be on the flyer and we'll, we'll put a link out in, in this clip that we're going to show you. So uh, on behalf of Charge, TV, we do apologise for uh, giving the wrong information out at the current time. Um, it wasn't until we got um, back from Studio B uh, that we realised that a, a post went out by the Hobart Devils Facebook page to say that entries are still open. So, so again, just to be really clear on it, entries are still open until Friday. Get your entries in. Chargers TV will be there on Monday to, to get um, footage and interviews with players and, and uh, organisers. So we look forward to that. And here's the clip from, um, from earlier tonight where we're pumping up that three-on-three -three competition. Enjoy. Other news as well too. Um, the three-on-three -three Champions League basketball has taken um, the basketball community um, by storm. And uh, Hobart will finally host an event this coming Monday. We'll get the uh, graphic for you now with the flyer there. So it's three on three uh, with under 13s, under 15s, open men, open women to be held at the Kingborough Sports Centre this coming Monday. So the, the under 13s, under 15s are from five to seven and then it'll be the open men and the open ladies from seven to nine. Now the Chargers TV cameras will be there to to get some footage and get some uh, interviews as well too with, every, uh, with either players or organisers. So we're really looking forward to, to that. Um, uh, JB, the three on three must be exciting. Uh, it's tremendously good. I mean, it creates an opportunity, in my opinion, for players with a great all-around ability. You can't be relied upon in a three-on-three -three to be purely a defensive player like you mm. can be in a five-on-five -five or someone who purely just scores, as you can do in a five-on-five -five game. However, uh, in the three-on-three, -three, you've got to have the aspects of constantly being able to play defense quickly and efficiently and also score in a dynamic amount of ways. Um, and also, this is ideally for guys who are able to distribute the ball and get their teammates involved. There's no reason why they can't dominate this game as well. Always fun to watch. Um, different rules, restricted time limits, restricted scoring. It's going to be a hell of a lot of fun, and I think people should really get out and check it out. So it's this Monday coming, and we're looking forward to seeing everyone there. I believe entries have closed. I know the last call of entries were around the last couple of days as we put this uh, show to record. Um, so make sure you get down there and support. Spectators are, are free entry, so free, free entry in for, for the spectators. So get on down if you can on Monday. There'll be a DJ playing. There'll be heaps of prizes to give away, all that kind of stuff. So get around the, the Hobart Devils and... Um, and also check out their Facebook page if you search up Hobart Devils. And